Okay, if you saved at the end of the last video, it took you right out of interpolation mode, which is a good thing. We don't really have anything to test at this point. All we've done is we have completed the motion of our camera, but if we take a look in Kismet, while our camera is connected to the action cam group and that's all well and good, we don't have anything triggering this matinee. So really, it's never going to happen. So what I want to do is come back here to our little switch and let's put a trigger here. I'll just right click on the wall, choose add actor, and let's pick on add trigger. Now this trigger is huge, so I'd like to make this a little bit small. Let's grab our draw scale fields. I'll grab the very first one and we'll set this down to 0.3. Now as soon as you do that, you're going to have to click on the trigger, otherwise you'll never notice the change, which is very fun. Now let's tap the space bar and we'll position this guy right here in front of our little switch. Now we need to get this set up inside of Kismet. So I'm going to open the Kismet editor. Let's right click. And we'll choose new event using trigger zero. And this will be a used event because we actually want the player to walk up and use this switch. I'm going to leave my max trigger count at one. This is not the kind of switch I really want the player to use an awful lot. And we'll just take the used and plug it into play. Now, if we were to test things out right now, there is a little bit of a problem. So here we are. Hit use. Nothing's happening. Am I doing something wrong? No, you're not. The problem is that while we have been animating our camera, while everything is doing what it's supposed to do, we don't have anything in matinee that's telling us to take the view away from the player and give it off to this camera. To do that, we have to add a director's track. A director track is kind of like a camera switcher. That's really all it is. It's a way that you can say, all right, go to camera one, now camera two, now camera three. You get to become literally like a film director. So what I'm going to do is come over here to my group track list inside of Matinee, right click, and choose New Director Group. Each Matinee can only have one director group. Keep that rule in mind. Now it already has a director track, and animating this is extremely easy. All we're going to do is select the director, press Enter, and it asks Cut to Group. What group do you want to look at? And generally it's assuming that you're looking through a camera. So we'll set this to Action Cam. Click OK, and now, throughout the duration of our animation, we are looking through Action Cam, which is labeled. If we had other cameras here inside the group, we could switch to those at any given point and take a look at the action from different vantage points. All we'd have to do is set up alternate cameras. Now let's test it out at this point. So I'll close, close, right-click, play from here. And we are able to view our camera. So let's take a look at our next problem. The next problem is that one, if we use this, actually what I'm gonna do is restart the level. One is that we still see the HUD, and the other one, so you might have seen the HUD, we still have crosshairs flying around with us. The other one, watch this, when I use the trigger, I can still move the robot around. So yeah, I've actually managed to run him pretty much back to where the robot is without even looking at the view, which by the way is luck. I was pretty sure that's where I was, but I didn't know for sure. That's an issue. We don't want the player to be gone when the camera gets back. We want the, the player to pretty much stand still. Also, we want the HUD to go away. Fortunately, in Kismet, there is a single sequence object, single node, which will solve all of these problems at once. Let's take a look. I'm going to open up Kismet. And I'm going to take my trigger underscore zero used and kind of pick it up here for just a moment. And I'm going to right click, choose new action, come down to toggle, and you'll see toggle cinematic mode. Now let's take a look at the properties for toggle cinematic mode. It's got a bunch of visibility switches as well as some other things as well. So do you want to be able to see dead bodies? Do you want to disable any input from the player, disable movement, disable turning? Do you want to hide any drop pickups? Do you want to hide away the HUD? Do you want to hide the player? So all sorts of cool stuff so you can switch on and off. I'm going to leave the player of visible. So I'm going to uncheck hide player. Everything else is just fine because that keeps us from moving. It hides away the HUD. So as soon as we use this trigger, I'm going to enable cinematic mode. Well, that's perfect, but let's try it real quick and see the next problem. So we fly over. 
We still see a HUD, which is a little bit of an issue. But also, actually, hang on. Something didn't actually get connected. Let me try that again. Oh, you know what? This is my bad. I didn't give it a target. That's embarrassing. All right, you're allowed to laugh at me. Creating your cinematic toggle mode, or I'm sorry, toggle cinematic mode node is only half the battle. We have to actually point out who it's going to affect. So what I'm going to do is right-click here in space, come down to new variable, and let's choose player and pick on player. Now I'm going to switch off all players, so this is just for the player that's in the level. This is not a multiplayer map anyway. And we'll connect that to the target. And really, I did that on purpose to help point out to you, or yeah, something like that. Now, let's hit the button. Now notice our HUD is gone, so that's nice. However, now if I try, I'm, I'm trying like anything to move, tapping buttons, clicking my mouse, nothing. That's because in Kismet, we enabled cinematic mode, but we never disabled it. So what I'm going to do now is take my matinee and run an output from when it was completed to, en to disable. Excuse me. So we're enabling it when the switch is used. As soon as our matinee animation is complete, we'll then disable cinematic mode. Now let's try one last time. All right, so I can't move. We have no HUD. And our player is still waiting for us. Then we get control back, and we can continue. So we've taken a look at a lot of different things. We have set up the trigger, which causes our animation to play. We've added in a director track, so we can cut over to the camera that we animated. And we've set up cinematic mode to keep the player from interfering in the course of our movie. Now, save your map, that's going to wrap things up, and then when we come back, we'll move on and take a look at the next issue we need to solve.